Hey guys, Tom from Wands and Motors, and today we're working on my 2015 Victory Cross Country Tour. Uh, we're gonna replace the foot pad. Uh, chances are yours probably looks something pretty similar to mine, pretty tore up, and a pretty simple job. Um, replacing it with a Vic Pucks pork chop. Uh, there are instructions on the back, but this video is for you guys who are visual learners. Um, pretty simple job. You're gonna need a drill or a grinder. Um, me personally, uh, this step drill bit worked just fine. Uh, you can also use normal drill bits. They just need to be big enough to grind off the head of the rivet or drill it out per se. Uh, you'll need a hammer and maybe a smaller screwdriver to pound that, uh, that insert piece out and you'll need a big screwdriver to tighten the new one down. And that's all you're gonna need. Pretty simple, let's get to it. Once you drill them out, um, Basically all that's left is uh, the rivets on the back side, the back portion of it, and then you can just take a uh, take a punch of some sort and just uh, or a small screwdriver and just pound those out. There you have it, factory uh, factory rubber pad. You'll have your puck. The big washers, they go underneath of the, the actual kickstand. And then you'll have your screws, and each one will have a lock washer and just a flat washer. So put those two on. So go ahead and get your big washers lined up underneath. That's it folks, uh, just get those two tightened up and you're good to go. Now you guys will notice I did have to use a bike jack to do this. Obviously you can't uh, can't really take your foot peg off while, uh, while the bike is sitting on it. So you'll either need a bike jack or a wheel chalk for your front wheel. And if you don't have those, um, well, you might have to improvise, uh, but be safe. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, hope you guys learned something. See ya.